All right, this week's writing lesson is on the story Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. Uh, I know we're all very familiar with this book, um, but we're going to be talking about the five W's again, the who's, the what's, the when's, the where's. Um, we're also going to talk about sequence, so putting things in order. We're going to talk about problems and solutions. And then we're also going to talk about something that we wish for. Okay, so let's start with the story. Title page. Here we go. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. <clears throat> At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. <clears throat> yeah, it was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. <clears throat> Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Ooh, that's a good color word right there. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. All right, so that was Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. So with this story, um, we are going to talk about, as I said, the five W's, um, the who's, the what's, the when's, the where's, and the why. 
We're going to talk about the problem in the story. Um, the problem is pretty obvious. Um, Farmer Brown has a uh, has a problem with the cows having a typewriter and they're demanding things. So the problem is the demands of those cows and hens. So Farmer Brown decides to give in and gives the animals the blankets. So one thing you need to think about is how would you solve that problem? If you were Farmer Brown and your animals were demanding something from you and not giving you what you needed, what would you do? We also need to think about the sequence of the story. Um, so one of your worksheets will be on sequence. You have to number the sentences in order. We are also um, talking about onomatopoeia. Who remembers what onomatopoeia is? I hope you do. Onomatopoeia is when the writer uses a sound effect to make the story interesting. So, for instance, um, we have the click, clack, moo in the story quite often. And that click, clack is the sound of a typewriter. So that's the onomatopoeia for the typewriter. But we also have the moo and we have the quack of the duck and the cows. So that's another onomatopoeia. All right. So you're going to have an editing page that you have to fix. And then um, you also at the bottom have to come up with some onomatopoeias of your own. So remember, onomatopoeias are sounds that you could hear, but the writer's using words to represent those sounds, since you can't actually hear sounds in a book. Stay tuned for the other videos that explain your worksheets.